<clears throat> Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. I want to offer in this video an opinion which has come from my clinical experience and living on the planet for 73 years. Um, as you know, the media is used to calling people who think and behave, quote, abnormally as mentally ill. Illness has a connotation of sickness and badness for many people. I want to propose that that term is now outdated and obsolete. Mental illness is a holdover from the early roots of psychiatry, the profession of psychiatry in the late 1800s and 1900s was founded by and focused on medical doctors. Um, starting with the famous Sigmund Freud, who was a medical doctor and a psychiatrist. The thinking in the late 1800s and throughout the first half of 1900 was that people who thought and behaved irregularly or abnormally were sick. Sickness is caused technically by germs or organic malfunction. Yes, some uh, mental psychological problems are caused by brain chemical imbalances, so to speak. Um, it is an open question, which there's no clear answer to, as to whether uh, chemical imbalances are caused by thought patterns or if they're caused by cellular malfunctions probably some of each. <clears throat> the point I want to make here is this, that mindlessly um, diagnosing yourself or someone else as, quote, mentally ill or sick is misleading and harmful. Since the 1950s, the old image, the stereotypic image of the psychiatrist in coat and tie sitting on a chair next to a couch where the patient, single person, patient, is talking about his or her life. That image has been gradually replaced by a man or a woman sitting in a chair surrounded by several other chairs with adults and kids doing family therapy. The thinking that is gradually shifting, at least in the Western world, is abnormal behavior, abnormal thinking patterns that are not organic come from family dysfunction. That's a very vaguely understood term that says, well, families aren't operating right. As a holdover from the medical beginnings of psychiatry and the idea that abnormal behavior was a sickness or an illness, the pharmaceutical industry has unintentionally prolonged that. The uh, dynamic that has influenced our grandparents and, grand and parents and many of us and the media is, if you're mentally sick, you should take a drug a classic widespread billion dollar example is anti-depression medication. Clinical depression is classed as a quote mental illness which is a misdiagnosis in my biased opinion and frequently people automatically assume I'm depressed, my um, counselor or psychiatrist say I'm clinically depressed which makes it even worse it's not just regular, it's clinical depression, and my psychiatrist has prescribed medication. Lo and behold, medication does, in fact, reduce, it for many people, reduce the feeling of chronic or severe depression. That reinforces the idea that um, mood disorders or personality disorders um, are in fact, quote, illnesses that can be, quote, cured by drugs. This is a misperception. It is an illusion. The best medications can do, because they certainly do change brain and body chemistry, and do change moods 
and in some cases thinking patterns. Drugs work in many cases. They have an impact on your physiology and your psychology. Does this mean they cure the root problem? No. It means you are treating the symptom. That does not get at the root cause of many, if not most, mood disorders and personality disorders and various other kinds of misdiagnosed mental illnesses. What seems to work as our society gradually wakes up to the real problem, the real problem is young, naive, defenseless children, age zero through five, six, seven, when they are subjected to chronic or severe parental abandonment, abuse, and neglect, or other forms of environmental trauma. Young children develop abnormal types of thinking and behavior. They develop a group, in my biased opinion, after 31 years of studying this, traumatized young children develop up to six specific identifiable psychological wounds. Notice the difference between saying he or she is mentally ill or sick or has a mental illness <clears throat> and should be medicated. Notice the, notice the difference between that and saying he or she is a survivor of major childhood trauma and is carrying major or significant psychological wounds. She's not sick. She's wounded. Would you rather be called mentally ill or psychologically wounded or neither? I propose that we are in the slow invisible process as a culture of gradually letting go of the old mythology that crazy behavior or crazy thinking is a sickness. It is not at least the non, if it's non-organic, if it's not cellular, it doesn't deserve to be called illness or sickness. It does deserve to be called abnormal thinking, abnormal behavior, and more kindly, psychological woundedness. Notice what your reaction to this is. This is not yet a popular opinion. There's a great deal of harm done in my biased opinion as a therapist by people blindly assuming that psychiatrists know what they're talking about and that medication is the appropriate treatment for uh, personality disorders and mood disorders, including ADHD, for instance. Some of the, some of the times that's justified. I think the profession of psychiatrist is absolutely justified. They are the best trained men and women to try and differentiate. Is this an organic problem? in which case medication may really be appropriate, or is it a psychological problem, in which case medication masks the real problem and delays whatever recovery is possible through group or family therapy. <clears throat> I invite your thoughtful deliberation on the terminology that you use, other people use, and particularly the media when talking about people who are struggling with psychological and relationship problems. Seldom are they organic, or more often they are psychological and they have their roots in childhood trauma. I invite you to learn more about this by seeing these videos. This results from 31 years of thoughtful deliberation. I hope you'll give it some credence. Thanks for watching.